Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're reviewing a live show by Joey Hines at Hardway 8 on Water Street in Old Town Henderson. Joey is a great friend of the channel and holds the distinction of being the first act to be interviewed by me twice. It's just too bad nobody likes the guy. Hardway 8 came on my radar thanks to another Room 6 guest named Hip Cheney. He knew I sing in a jazz band called the Dirty Martinis and had heard the bartender there mention they're looking for a jazz band. When Joey's gig came up at the same venue, I decided it was time to pay them a visit. Joey's opening act was Adam Patterson and the Heavy Hearts, recent transplants from Alaska that played Americana rock really well. I'm looking forward to having them on the channel someday. Once Adam and the gang finished up to enthusiastic applause, Joey set up for his one-man show. His set was a mix of old songs and new, some of which he was nice enough to play on both interviews on this channel. Bouncing between acoustic guitar and keyboard, while his trademark merch shirt stating Fuck Joey Hines hung from a speaker, Joey took us on a journey through some of his musical catalog. Starting off with I Came Out, new fans of Joey's music were immediately introduced to his quirky sense of humor. Previously performed on Room 6, Never Meet Your Heroes is a great warning about celebrity. A particular crowd favorite was Make This Relationship Great Again, both topical and romantic. A little bit of self-loathing on the keyboard comes out in You and I Are Trash, Now Give Me Some Action. Looking back now, I feel like Joey missed an opportunity with hindsight to work his last name into a song title, but oh well. See what I did there? The crowd favorite, Getting Drunk and Eating Pizza, sees Joey back on the guitar and is pretty much about the title. With I Want Out and I Always Thought I'd Marry You, Joey gets a little more serious. My personal favorite was I Love You, But I Don't Love Seether which reminded me of our fun first interview. Gas Station Coffee goes a little deeper and introspective. Recently played on his second interview on Room 6, Blood Moon has a great hook and evokes great imagery. Last but not least, well here we are, wraps it all up nicely and sends the audience on their way. All in all, Joey puts on a great show that draws the audience in instead of blasting them through the back wall. His lyrics are thoughtful and tongue in cheek, while also heartfelt and poignant. A lot to unpack in one songwriter, but worth the effort. I put his social media and online store links in the description of this video. Joey's music is awesome and so is he, so make sure you check him out. 